this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be talking about research internship. What are the benefits of doing research internship at the student level, especially in the areas of biology, bio IT, and biotech? And I will also be providing you some of the tips and the roadmap which can help you to get these kind of research internship. So let's get started. So let's first understand what are the benefits of doing research internship. Most of the undergraduate and master student, they always come and they have this kind of complaint that they are having interest in research in biotech, bio IT, but at their organization, institute and colleges, they are not getting hands on training. So it's really important if you are not getting these kind of training at your organization, it best you approach to private and public institute and colleges, R&D settings and you get these training and internship done there. So the first benefit is by doing these kind of research internship, you are going to get a hands-on experience whether it is bio IT, bioinformatics or it's a biotechnology or basic biology experiments. So you are going to get a hands-on experience in this area. The second point is that you are going to learn new laboratory techniques and skill from the experienced researcher. Usually we have also noticed that uh, many of the colleges and institutes, sometimes their faculties are not well goes with the technologies and expertise. So during that scenario also, the students are not getting a proper guidance and hands-on training. In that kind of scenarios also, it's very important to learn these kind of new techniques and skills from the experienced mentors and the researchers and scientists, whether they are from private industry or public sector, doesn't matter, but they should have expertise on those areas. So getting a mentoring and supervision done from them is going to help you in understanding those concepts and research in a much better way. The third point is, Doing such kind of research internship is also going to expand your knowledge of biotech research, its advancement and the recent trends and thereby you will be going to be up to date with the latest trends and advancement which is going to help you to get the understanding of research subject area and choosing your right career path at these stages. The fourth point is if you are doing a research internship, it is also going to give you the work experience in the real world projects that can contribute to the development of new biotech products, technologies and publications. The fifth point is that by doing such kind of research internship, additional skills also you will acquire. You will develop critical thinking, problem solving and communication skills that are essential part of any biological based research field. By doing such kind of research internship, it allows you to expand your professional network in the bio IT and biotech industry and potentially it is going to help you in securing a future job and giving you a future opportunities. Additionally, it is going to gain an edge over your peers while applying to graduate programs, jobs in the biotech and bio IT industry, both in India and abroad about the biotech sector. These kind of research are really costly sometimes, especially if you are going to the industrial level. And these days in public sectors and in public institution also, they are charging a reasonable amount of fee for giving you those kind of trainings and allowing to be the part of those research internships. It's very important to first explore the types of research internships which are currently available. It is actually important here to address this point because a few students are having financial limitations. And if you notice that in biology and biotech areas, not all the research internships are free. Sometimes they are paid internships. Sometimes they are providing you stipends. Sometimes they are hiring you without uh, stipends also. You can either go to the private uh, sectors and institute from where you can get the research internship. You may either approach to the public or the government-based institutes and universities and colleges from where you can get these kind of training. One crucial part is that if you will see in the biotech sector especially, most of these trainings, uh, internships and the projects are really costly because there are experienced professionals which is required to mentor you. There are a lot of chemicals and the kits and the systems, scientific systems are required to train you. So not always these kind of research internships are free. 
sometimes they are paid research internships sometimes they comes with the stipend sometimes they actually charge you to provide some training then they are going to give you that opportunity most of the pre research internship and stipend based internships are competitive also so you have to timely apply for those research internship i have made few videos related to different kind of research internship opportunities both at the private and public level i have a separate playlist for that if you are interested i request you to watch that video so now moving ahead depending on your interest you can either choose the wet lab based research internship or dry lab in silico or data related uh, internship these days you can also approach pharma and clinical research internships also because these are also trending areas in the biomedical sector and in the biotech sector so either you choose the private institute public institute or r&d and pharma and either you can go for the wet lab and a dry lab maybe you can go for the free or the stipend based thing that depends on your financial limitation and scenarios so moving ahead let me provide you some of the tips for getting these research internship as i have said that these uh, free research internship and stipend based research internships are sometime highly competitive also so you have to apply timely so it is very important to start early begin your search for these kind of internship well in advance to ensure you have ample of time to explore the research opportunities prepare your application material and also timely apply to multiple positions the another thing is very important to network it is very important to network with a professional scientific community make a professional linkedin profile get it up to date attend career fair you can attend conferences and seminar and other industry based events to meet professional in your field and also learn about the potential internship opportunity from these platform moving ahead you can also use online resources you can either check for the job boards and the online databases for internship so suppose if you are looking for industry or company based scholarship or maybe some university or renowned institute you should go and visit their a website frequently because they announce these internship and opportunities on those platform so like in india if you want to get a biotech real hands on training in biotech sector you can either join biocon or thermo fisher if you are interested in getting those uh, hands on training from public universities you can either join jnu delhi universities etc if you are interested in institute then many of the iits also provide these summer training and research internship in delhi national institute of immunology and i also provide these kind of internship and there are a lot of csir based institute they also provide research internship and summer training i have a list of these scholarship and internship in my channel if you are interested you may watch those videos in the playlist and uh, while applying for these internship it is very important to customize your application many of the student has this habit of sending the journal emails cover letter while applying for these positions it is very important to customize your application depending on where you are applying to which professor or institute you are applying whether your research interest is matching or overlapping with the ongoing project of that lab you should also read little bit of publication related to that uh, lab and then you should apply to those application so tailoring your application material including your resume cover letter and personal statement will be a very relevant point it is also advisable to follow up so after submitting your application follow up with the employer to express your continued interest in the position and inquire about the status of your application and as i said these uh, application and internship are competitive also so sometime they will shortlist you for one or two interview round maybe on site and online so be prepared in advance for these interview try to practice some common interview questions and be prepared to discuss your qualification experience goal in the bio it and biotech research field take some help from your mentors your seniors from these sectors be open to the feedback take feedback from your mentors and colleagues and seniors during your internship as it will help you to improve your skills and knowledge so let me summarize and give you a proper road map for getting this kind of research internship 
so it is very important to do some homework and research where you want to apply either to the private public or industry or company based internship either they are matching and overlapping with your research interest so learn about those research field and potential internship opportunity by conducting online research and talking to the professional in the field and build your skills you should also build additional skills develop your laboratory skills computer skills communication skills by taking relevant coursework participating in research project and volunteering in the related activity so it is also important you are doing proper networking both at the on site and online level attend industrial events you can also network at the linkedin platform and get the potential internship opportunity by using these platform it is also very important to apply timely prepare your application material and apply to the multiple internship position that align with your interest and qualification practice for your interview once you receive an offer for an internship carefully review the terms of the internship accept the position if it is aligning with your career goal and succeed work hard during your internship develop new skills build relationship with your mentor and colleague to succeed in the biotech and bio it research field i hope you have liked this session and if you have any queries related to these please feel free to reach me we also provide research internships and summer trainings related to bio it biotech and nanotechnology ai machine learning and diverse area i request you to visit our website and explore the multiple areas and sector thank you